December 27, 2021. We're starting to get some snow flurries. You guys know what I do, but guess who I just met? I just met Chuck Liddell. Holy crap, man. He was wearing his mask too, like halfway up, but I could tell. And, it, and I, I, was, I was like, Chuck, Chuck Liddell? He, he was like, yep. But I didn't want to ask for a picture or an autograph or anything because he was walking into the store, but holy crap, that was Chuck Liddell. I just met one of my freaking, one of my idols. I cannot believe it. I am on cloud nine right now, especially because it's starting to snow now too. So we're just gonna take a drive to the other side of town. The big snow isn't supposed to start till about four o'clock and this is actually happening a little earlier than anticipated. So, holy moly, I can't believe I just met Chuck Liddell. The Iceman, holy crap. Just insane. Dude, I just met Chuck Liddell, oh my God. Dude. I wish I had like a beanie, an extra beanie with me. I would be like, bro, here you go. Here you go, Mr. Liddell. But this is where a bunch of fighters, well, he's not fighting anymore. Unfortunately, he had that, that really unfortunate third fight with Tito, which that fight should have never happened. And Tito knocked him out, but Chuck was not in, in the right shape, the right condition, too old to fight, especially since Tito's a little younger than him. And uh, But Tito always wanted to get that revenge. So anyway, sorry, sorry to talk about that. I'm just, that was like the greatest thing ever right now, which just happened. I can't believe I met Chuck Liddell. No one else would freaking recognize him, I swear, because he had his mask on, but it was right above his mouth. And so I could see his eyes and nose and the way that he was walking. And I just knew <laughs> it was so cool. And look, you guys can see all the way out in the Baldwin area, the blue skies. I'm telling you guys, the big bear snow rule. Anyway, hang on. Okay. And funny enough, somebody in the line in front of me, they had a bunch of tap out clothing on too. And the guy looked looked ripped. He had his mask on too though, so I couldn't tell who he was, but that's my favorite sport in the world. I've been doing jujitsu on and off for a long time, but I really suck. I'm still a white belt. <laughs> but for jujitsu, it's not like other martial arts where you can get like your black belt in like a year and a half if you're constantly working. It can take you 10 plus years. I haven't even gotten a stripe on my belt, but I guarantee you I could still defend myself. But, and I used to get coached here by Coach Jovan at Bear City, Ju Bear City Jiu Jitsu. And my old best friend, Nick Rados. He never coached me though, we were just best friends. He fights for, uh, for bare knuckle fighting. The bare knuckle organization, BKFC. I don't know if he's had any fights recently, but honestly, he kind of douched me out, so I don't care. Look at the snow play, guys. The snow is coming down a little bit. The snow is coming down a little bit. What's going on, man? Hi. Let's go down this way, we'll take a look at the next side. Oh man, this uh probably gonna end up taking the back streets. Yeah, it's snowing in the car, that's pretty cool. A lot of snow coming in the car. Snow in the car, snow in the car. Actually we are gonna take the back streets because this is gonna be nuts. We'll see how it goes, gets through the light. If we don't get through this light, we're for sure turning right. And I'm a poet and didn't know it. I can't believe I just met the Iceman, dude. Holy crap. I've met a ton a ton of fighters up here from Tony Ferguson to Fabrizio Verdum. I even met Fedor Emelianenko up here. I just missed Ronda Rousey. Um, I met Baby Slice, um, Kimbo Slice's son. Um, What's, and then, uh, God, what's his name? I was a huge fan of his, and then his son is kicking everyone's butt. Um, oh my gosh, what are their names? Why am I spacing it? My mind is going crazy because of what just happened. Um, anyway, I'll remember, and then I'll, I'll let you know. But yeah, I've met a ton of fighters. I've met Tito. I actually met Tito at Team Punishment in Huntington Beach. Um, 
gosh, I've met a lot, a lot of fighters. I admire them a lot because usually people run away from that stuff and, and these people do that to make money. I don't care how much you pay me. I don't want to be separated from consciousness. Now a choke is one thing. I've been choked out numerous times in practice and you know, you're, you're supposed to tap when you're in practice and everybody knows that, but sometimes I wouldn't trying to be tough and it, it doesn't hurt. You just pass out. And then you wake up and it feels like you were somewhere for like an hour somewhere else and you have no idea where you are. Like it's the craziest feeling in the world. It's the weirdest feeling in the world, but it, it doesn't hurt at all. Getting your carotids closed off. Holy crap, I cannot believe who I just met. I didn't get, get to meet him, but my aunt who's in the acting industry. She went to dinner with Dana White before. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I've never met any of my Stockton boys, the Diaz brothers. I'd love to meet them, Nick and Nate. That'd be pretty cool. I met Josh Koscheck up here. Um, gosh. Emmanuel Newton, an older fighter. I met him up here. Boxers I don't recognize too much. It's the MMA guys that I recognize right away. But anyway, sorry for talking so much about that. We're in Big Bear City, guys. And we are getting a little bit of light snow flurries. I might not make this the longest video, but I just wanted to show you guys basically the Big Bear snow rule. It'll be snowing over here, but where we're going, it'll probably be, be probably be blue sky. Unbelievable. And you can see the blue sky ahead. We're gonna stop the videos just so we can kind of get through these, okay? Sorry, guys. Light turned green. And here we go. Just showing you guys the traffic. I don't know why there's so much traffic going this direction. All the resorts are behind us. starting to snow I definitely would have been that annoying guy and said please let me get a picture with you bro please because no one's gonna believe me and the sad thing is is that I really don't have anybody to share that with you guys though so that's cool
you guys. If we would have kept on going straight, we would have gone into blue skies for sure. But we're gonna go to the end of Irwin Lake real quick just to, I'm just interested to see what it's like out there and then we'll, we'll cut back across. Hopefully traffic's not too gnarly. It's going to be though. But everyone should be at the resorts right now having a great time, so there shouldn't be too much traffic. At least I hope you guys are having a good time. You can see straight ahead, it's a, it looks a little bit hazy. That's the snow coming down up ahead of us. Yeah, this is Highway 38. The road seems like it's in pretty good condition, you guys, at least here in town. put antifreeze in my windshield wiper stuff because this time of year you have to buy the below freezing windshield wiper fluid and the lady told me that oh that's that's definitely for your windshield wipers for the below freezing and as I'm about to put it in I decided to read the whole bottle and no it was it was straight up antifreeze <laughs> probably wouldn't have been good but yeah so the closer we get to the mountain up here it'll be snowing but we're gonna be making a left here see it snowing up there straight ahead and now it's snowing here again so typically the closer you are to the mountain it's gonna snow the further away you go it's not not nearly as much we're gonna make a left here this is Irwin Lake we don't do this often so so we're gonna do it I didn't expect it to still be this cloudy over here but that's okay This is a cool little area you guys only problem with living out here is you're far away from the grocery stores and stuff like that but a lot of people do enjoy that so look it's blue sky straight ahead just bear with me if we okay. say so here we go we're gonna go to the very end and we're out of windshield wiper fluid damn it damn it damn it Janet. at least there's no car ahead of us right now to make our windshield wet because it's the dirt that comes up and even though I can use the windshield wipers it's still it's still dirty look at this guys see blue skies right out here sorry about that guys the video cut out for some reason Continuing with driving directions. It's all blue. It's all blue over there. Cray, 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 crazy. All right. So we're going to shut it off here. We're on the dirt road in this big prairie. I'll turn it back on shortly. All right, so we kind of drove around the area a little bit, but we're going to take a look over here to the right again on that dirt road area. So you can see to the left, it's all snowy and cloudy. To the right, this is what it looks like. Look at that. Oh, look at the cows. Look at the cows. Windshield wiper stop. Okay, so we're on State Lane. This is in Irwin Lake, and we are headed back. I don't think you guys necessarily need to watch this whole dang video, so I might just stop it for a while until we start hitting more snow. But no matter what, the further we go this direction, the more snow we're going to hit. It's inevitable. So once it picks up a little bit, I'll turn it back on so I'm not wasting as much time. Just keep in mind, you guys, these videos take a long time to upload, especially because they're 4K. So my luck, as soon as I start uploading it, it's gonna start dumping, and I'm gonna freak out because I'm, I'm not gonna be able to go out and record until I, I can unplug my phone from it uploading, so. But anyway, peace out, you guys, for a little bit. Just a little bit. It's kind of interesting. We're still on State Lane. If you look, look to the left there, the clouds are just storming over the mountain right there. Now you can't see the mountain. I think we could see the mountain 
than when we were driving in here just five minutes ago. Now you can't even see it right there. Anyway, I'll turn it back on shortly. I'm sorry guys for being so annoying. All right, you guys, we're back on uh, Big Bear Boulevard, Highway 18. We just passed Maple, which is where you would go up to Sugarloaf. And I'm gonna try to, actually, we're just gonna take the whole back streets all the way home. So, pretend like you just passed Maple, and unfortunately, guys, you're not gonna be happy. My windshield wiper fluid's out at the moment. So we're gonna have to stop and get that out right after this video, but we're gonna turn left here and take the back streets the whole entire way. Oh, can I beat this guy? No, nope, it's not worth it. I could have done it, but it's not worth it. Could have done it. I can beat this next guy though. I know I can do that. Alright. Guys, the temperature dropped quickly. It's 28 degrees. back to Moonridge. Should be interesting for you guys to see. I hope it doesn't make this sound when I use the, the windshield wiper. The brrr. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Did not want to hear that. Did not want to hear that sound. There is no stop sign here. beautiful area all these little neighborhoods man especially when there's a lot of snow gosh it's just so beautiful in the summertime it's like meh the homes are still still beautiful but it's just I guess I'm so used to this area now okay so here's Greenway that's one of the main streets that cuts across from one side of the lake to the other, even though the lake isn't over here, but it's the same concept going to the other side. And when we hit Sawmill, we're gonna make a left and take that all the way till we get to Division Road. Boom. Make sure they have a stop sign, I don't. Worst case, we're gonna get out and just rub some snow on the windshield. That'll be worst case scenario. Let this guy by. It's a cool looking car right there. I think that was a Mazda. Sometimes it's tough to see here though, guys, because cars come flying over the tops of these and uh, not really much room when there's snow out here for two cars to pass each other. So you just gotta be extra, extra cautious. I think we are technically on Sugarloaf Boulevard now. Yep, we are on Sugarloaf Boulevard. If you turn right here on Blue Water, you would head down to Circle K. That's where we're at right here. But we're staying back here the whole time all the traffic on the main road. You guys are gonna be so stoked with these tricks. Trust me, we'd be in bumper to bumper traffic right now. It would probably take us 45 minutes to get to Moonridge. But you guys, all my special friends here, you guys get the tricks of the trade here. I had to earn these tricks. <laughs> cool little race car, dude. That kid had a cool little remote control car. Charging in the snow, probably a Christmas present, good for him. All right. Hi, beautiful doggy. Hi, beautiful doggy. Let's try this one more time, which will a little bit wet. Oh, God. <laughs> it 
it's like fingernails across a chalkboard type of a sound. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So yes, the further we go this way, we should be getting into a little more snow. And especially once we make our left turn up here at Division Road where this dead ends. Sugarloaf Boulevard dead ends into uh, Division Road. And if you make a right on Division Road, this, the big snow play area is just to the left. Yeah, you guys can see how one side of town there's blue skies and hardly any snow and then this side of town the further we go this way the more and more snow we get so if you hang a right you'll be going to snow play and big bear boulevard snow plays right here actually you can see them sledding right there brains on this guy look at the brains on this guy man we have so many videos to make this next few days guys it's unbelievable McAllister Street. I always say that because of Home Alone. But this is McAllister. Alright, so we got that heat on. Oh, it's on me, not on the windshield. Please. Let's see if it's going to make a difference. Give it a second. And I'll try it. We're going to go to Napa Auto Parts after I get the video uploaded to put some. Hopefully, they have the minus. 32 windshield fluid. Jeez. Well, most people are turning right here, but I know they're not. I know most people are going left. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Nice signal, buddy. Okay, so we're heading into the storm. makes a left here they're going into upper moon ridge and both of these guys are sweet 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 that leaves us okay look at it snowing at the top of the mountain straight ahead that looks so awesome i hope you guys can see through the camera because it looks really pretty So beautiful.
get back on the Boone Ridge Road, we're going to shut the video down and I'll start loading it. Because I have to patch all the videos together, it takes forever. In the meantime, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Especially those of you who got to come up here and have some fun. That's Bear Mountain all the way out that way. And this is part of the parking lot for Bear as well. That's one of the satellite parking lots. There's a lot of big extra parking lots around here. We kind of worked a little bit, keeping up the windshield. No flurries, you guys, so it's not like it's snowy, but it's, we're getting flurries. Which is the beginning. We're just going to shut it off now, okay, guys? We'll see you guys later when it picks up. Peace out. December 27, 2021, Big Bear.